Hello all, this is a video version of a popular blog post that I wrote about my Obsidian meeting note system uh, along a template and MOC file. MOC means map of contents. Uh, so all meeting notes are gonna be organized in a centralized map of contents file. Uh, on that file, there's also gonna be a button that you can click to easily create a new meeting note from a template. Uh, and we're gonna set that all up in this video right here. I actually have several blog posts on my personal website and it's gonna be linked in the description uh, that have talks about different Obsidian systems that I have, including daily note, this meeting note template, uh, people note, book note, physical objects, all of these sorts of systems are what I use in Obsidian. Uh, and this video that you're watching right now uh, documents the entire process, starting from an empty vault of building out the meeting note system. Uh, in this empty vault, I'll show you in a second, the only thing that I've done, I've installed a theme that I like, which is the LYT mode by Nick Milo. And then I've also created a bunch of folders. So like the directory structure that I like. The details for that directory structure is, go is going to be in the blog post. I'm not gonna cover that here, but all I did was install that theme and make those directories. Um, I also have a few files from the daily note uh, video, um, but we're not actually gonna be touching any of those files in this video right here. This tutorial you're watching creates my exact system. So it's the one that I've been using every day for, I don't know, year and a half, two years now without major modification. But just because something works for me does not mean it's going to necessarily work wholesale for you. So please change, modify, mix, steal, do whatever you want to this stuff to make it your own and to make it work for your working style. And if you like videos like this, want to see more, let me know, leave a like, a comment, a newsletter subscription, all those sorts of things. I've been thinking about getting back into making videos uh, after not doing it for a couple of years. And so positive feedback will actually make me make more. Uh, and with all that said, let's just jump into the tutorial. When I was thinking about designing this meeting note system, there were a few criteria that I had in mind. Uh, first, I wanted the ability to just as easily create notes ahead of time for pre-meeting planning or to instantly be able to create them in the moment for ad hoc meetings. Uh, number two, every note needed space for both the date of the meeting and who attended, those kind, that kind of metadata. Uh, three, there should be design space for an agenda uh, so I could do the pre-meeting planning uh, and also notes to take during the meeting. Uh, and then meeting notes should be easily accessible in multiple contexts. And by easily here, I mean, I wanna have a quick summary. So like at a glance, I can tell notes apart. Uh, and when I say multiple contexts in my system, these uh, meeting notes are accessible in the meeting MOC page. It's also available on any people notes and it's also available in any company or like business notes. Um, I'm not gonna be covering people notes and business notes in this tutorial, uh, but we will be setting up the meeting MOC and the data view table that we're using here. That logic can be applied to the various other systems to also have lists of meetings there. Um, great, so let's take a look at what this looks like. On the screen right here, I have an example meeting note. Uh, you'll see that it has all the properties at the top, like when the note was created, what type it is. Company, you can put the company that you work for or if you are meeting with a third party company, you can put that here or both. Uh, and then this section here is a summary. So you can write basically a TLDR or the important context of this meeting. And then this is what you'll be able to see on the meeting MOC page. Going down, I have tags. I usually put the tags here with um, the double-sided or the bi-directional links. Um, and you can also put company names here too. Uh, and then it links to the date, which of course goes to the daily note, which I have a video about that as well. Uh, you have a section for attendees. And again, these go to people notes. So any attendee that you put here, you can link to their people note. And then agenda questions. You can do this ahead of time. You can do this in the first five minutes of the meeting if you wanna jot down some notes. Um, and then during the meeting, if you wanna take any notes, you can have that here. Um, this next steps section is not actually part of the template, but I will often just add uh, this in during a meeting if I feel like there are next steps that I want to jot down and make note of. So that's what a meeting note looks like. If we click this, this is my actual vault right here. So before we jump to the empty one, I just wanted to show you. This is the meetings MOC that I use. This is actually the old button. This one no longer works. This is gonna be the new one that I'm gonna show you how to set up here. Uh, but you can see right here, these are all of my meeting notes uh, and it has 
the name, created date, and then a summary that you filled in in the properties section. Uh, and then yeah, creating a new meeting note, you just click this. And then let's update this, example meeting two. Uh, when you do that, this will also update because this is a link to this title. You can fill in any information that you want. The summary here, this is a summary. Great, and then fill this in. And then if we go back to the meetings MOC, it's gonna automatically show up here. So this is gonna be a good centralized location for all of your meeting notes. And that's just what it looks like. Let's just jump in and, and get it all set up. Here we are in the empty vault. So like I said, I installed the theme LYT mode, and then I created a bunch of folders, which you can see here, um, just because I want to be able to put these files and templates in the proper location. Um, so yeah, the very first thing we're gonna do is create the meeting MOC page. So do command N and then name this. I usually like to start this with an emoji. So let's do speaking meetings MOC. Wonderful. And now let's go to Safari and just get the meeting MOC template. So this is the GitHub GIST. There's a nice conversation here if you wanna like read what other people are saying. Um, Usually, I'm going to link, obviously, this in the description so you can grab that. So let's go to raw, command A for all, copy this back to Obsidian, and just paste that in here. Um, this right here, this code, this is meta bind button. Um, this is going to be a button eventually that gets us to create a new note. I'm going to delete this because we're going to create a button using the plugin builder a little bit later. So uh, let's get rid of that for now. Likewise, this data view table right now just shows as code. Once we install data view, it's going to be an actual table of your notes. So you can just leave that alone for right now. Uh, the next thing we just need to do is move this into the correct location. So command P opens up the palette type move and make sure you select move current file to another folder. And then we're gonna put this in meeting. So in timestamps slash meetings is where I like to keep this file. So you can press enter here. You saw it disappear from the side. And if you go in meetings, we can see that that is where it lives right now. So this is great. Now we just gotta create the meeting note template file. So command N to create a new one. And we're gonna call this template comma meeting note, uh, and I'm just gonna close this. We don't need both of them open. Great, and the same thing, I'm gonna go to Safari. This is the gist for the meeting note template. Select all, copy that, and just paste it in here. You can see Obsidian automatically formats it with this properties thing from this section, and there's a bunch of titles and stuff. If we go here and do source mode. You can see it kind of looks more like it did on GitHub, but none of this actually matters. We can get rid of short code. Let's just move this to our template folder. So again, command P, move. Let's move this to templates. Great, and you can see in extras, templates, <clears throat> we have the daily note and the meeting note here now. Uh, so great, let's close this. The next thing we wanna do is just install the three plugins that we need. So go to settings, uh, go to community plugins. So it's gonna be here. Make sure restricted mode is turned off uh, if this is on. Um, this will allow you to install community plugins and then we'll go to browse. First thing I wanna install is data view. So type in data view with this first one here. Install, enable. Next thing is templater. Click this install, enable. And the last thing is meta uh, bind. Install, enable. Great, if we close this, we can see under community plugins, these are all pl uh, installed now. For templater, I'm just gonna go into this setting and let me choose my template file here. So this just tells the templater plugin that this is where my templates live. And that's the only thing we need to do here. <clears throat> so let's open the MOC. Uh, great, and we're gonna create that button right here like I had mentioned we were going to. So if you do Command P and type in meta bind, we'll be able to go to the option Open Button Builder. So let's click on that. We're gonna call this 
new meeting. And then we're gonna add an action. You can see that down here. So templater create notes, add action. For the template file, we'll create the meeting note template that we just created. In terms of the folder, I like these to go in uh, timestamps meetings. And then in terms of the file name, I usually use TK. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, TK is like an editor trick. You can basically fill it in as any gap that you want that tells you to come back to it later. That's just the habit that I'm in for using TK. Feel free to use that or not. Uh, and make sure open note, this is switched on, which it should be by default. And then press copy to clipboard. And then in here, we just paste it. And you can see the code that we saw before. But if I click out of here, this is gonna be a button now. So let's test it. Wonderful. So let's do test meeting. Let's add a short summary. Great. And if we go back to our meeting MOC page, you can see this meeting note shows up here. And let's add another one. Second meeting note. This is the notes for the second meeting. Wonderful. And then again, any note that you create for a meeting is going to show up in your meeting MOC. And that's how you do it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been useful. And I'll see you in the next video.